Children's Hospitals and Clinics of Minnesota recently launched a program aimed at making its hospitals and clinics a little more comfortable. And the program is helping local artists at the same time. It's called the Arts and Healing Urban Renewal Project. And Dr. Susan Sensor with Children's Hospitals and Clinics is joining us this morning to talk about it. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having me. Tell us about the project first and foremost. Well, this is a very unique opportunity. I think people have realized that arts and healing is a very important thing and that arts really contribute to the way that children could heal as well as adults but children have not been studied as much as adults have been and so this is our opportunity while at the same time helping we're a part of our community and a part of the state we are the Children's right. Hospital of Minnesota so we are very excited to be able to expand this to include artists from our area so this is going to help I mean clearly it's children who are the patients mm -hmm. and it's going to help I guess as far as the healing environment right. you've done a little research there is research there on is this research but there's going to be there. more research yes. as everything you guys do this. we're going to study everything that we do and try and understand how that healing is helps we, we believe that if you have better journey throughout either the chronic illness or the acute illness, your outcome should be better. How, what has been studied, I guess, so far as far as kids and how kids react to that kind of stuff and, well, and how it helps them? We know that, that, first of all, art encompasses a lot. Mm -hmm. there, there's music, there's theater arts, as well as the visual arts that we all think of. And too often, uh, when we've been looking at arts and children, we think of art as distraction, which is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Kids need to be distracted away from painful mm -hmm. procedures or, or the boringness of hospital mm -hmm. life. But I think we are starting to recognize that that kind of healing place within you can be touched by many different types of art, and that's what we want to study. So we could be talking theater and performance and stuff Absolutely. like that. Absolutely. We've partnered with well. many of the great places in the city, um, such as the Children's Museum, Children's Theater, Compass. Talk to us about how this is also going to impact local artists, because this is all Minnesota artists, and you recently this is. took um, a big step forward in the art, I guess. Well, and this is all philanthropically based. One of our um, Chair, our previous chairman of the board, the late Jim Ryan, felt that art was so important to what we do that he um, got a lot of people to contribute philanthropy and, and we're continuing to raise money so that we can expand this. We've had over 200 artists contribute look, um, ideas for projects and then we're going to commission about 30 of them to make pieces specifically for our hospitals. And it will be in Minneapolis and, and St. Paul, Paul hospitals. Yes. Inside, outside, we have new gardens in both places, and so the art will be structural art as well as visual art. Wonderful. Yeah. Sounds very interesting. Thanks for coming in and sharing more about Thank it. Thank you. For more on the project, you can actually go to our website at ksdp.com. Just click on the keywords Healing Initiative. Right? Very nice project.